afternoon. My name is Daniel Gladys, and today I'm here to tell you a story about how a high school art teacher became the 23rd most followed man in America on Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Astonishing to me too. Um, I've been an artist my entire life, and you can see some of my art here on the screen behind me. Um, I've loved art since I can remember. Let me make sure I know how this works. Okay, good. Um, and, uh, how should I say this? Um, you know, I, as a young man, I had my work in some of the best galleries across the region. And I was covered in nationally published magazines. I was living a dream life, making a good life as an artist, you know. And uh, it was great, it was amazing. But that all changed the very moment that I stepped, set foot in a high school art classroom. In that instant, I fell in love with teaching and education in the same way that I always loved art. You see, I love art because I love creativity, and I love education because I love community and collaboration. And it's these two passions, creativity and community, that brought me to Google+. And if you don't know Google+, it's the social media platform by the company Google. Um, it's kind of a big deal. And <laughs> The, um, see, the thing is, is when I found Google Plus, I was in this really interesting moment in my life. I really needed to find a way to express from the heart directly. I was tired of ulterior motives. I was tired of, of money getting in the way of things. I just wanted direct access from here to you, from here to others. And, and I found that on Google Plus. Um, I decided that what I was going to do was simply do what I love and share it freely. That became my motto. And um, how I did that was that every day I would try to create something original, sometimes a little sketch, sometimes a sophisticated painting, try to create something every day the best I could. And I would share it on my profile, on my, on my feed. And I would engage with other artists and other photographers and journalists and whoever else was on there the best way I could. And Google took notice, and they gave me this opportunity to pilot, pilot something called Hangouts On Air. Now, a Google Hangout is a 10-person video conference. It's very cool. It lets you talk to people all over the world and see right into their living room. Um, I like that. <laughs> and, um, um, and it was a really cool deal. But the Hangouts On Air is, is unique, and it's, it's really, really amazing, because what it allows you to do is take that 10-person video conference and broadcast it live across the world. Now that broadcast is recorded and archived on Google servers, playable forever on YouTube, on your YouTube channel. This is an amazing piece of technology, but more importantly, it's a beautiful communication tool. And as a teacher, I thought, I need to make use of this. I sat in my living room for days trying to understand what I'm going to do with this new found opportunity. Uh, I was one of the beta testers, so very few people had this opportunity that I had, and I wanted to make the, the, the most of it. Um, I had a lot of ideas. Some of them had to do with changing careers or maybe starting a new business. But in the end, I decided, no, I need to simply keep doing what I love and sharing it freely. The way that manifested itself was to create a weekly broadcast and sort of an art show. I hosted people from all over the world that wanted to learn to paint digitally. I taught them using a piece of software called ArtRage, which is super affordable, super accessible, really simple. Um, it was a blast, and it was casual, and it was simple, but most importantly, I think it was really unique. It was a novel thing for the platform. And Google, again, took notice. They put me, a high school art teacher, on the recommended users list in Google+. Plus. What that means is when a new user would log into the platform, they would see my name. They would see Britney Spears, they would see Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> they would see Larry Page, politicians, journalists, um, technologists and celebrities, and me, a high school art teacher from Fort Collins, right? And I thought it was hilarious, but um, it was kind of interesting too. I thought, what does this mean? I wasn't quite sure, but Forbes magazine wanted to know what it meant also, and they did an interview with me. They said, Daniel, you have 1.6 million followers. How much money are you making? And I laughed as I said, I'm not making a dime. And, and that's on purpose. You see, I already have a job, and I love my job. I have a good life, and I'm content. 
when I got into Google Plus, I got in for the reason that, for the heart, you know? I wanted to do something for its own sake and simply share it for free. I have no idea what the relevance of 1.6 million followers is, but I know that it does feel like an authentic community. And I love that I have a place to share my work in a creative way and to collaborate with other human beings in an authentic platform. And when I try to understand what this really is all about, that seems to sum it up pretty nicely. So thank you very much. Have a good day.